Okay, here we go. We're going to start this off and uh, we're going to tie my new caddis larva. We're going to start out by uh, laying down a base of a lead tape. This is mainly there to uh, help the body give it a little more fullness on this pattern. Uh, this is a size 14. So now, now we're going to start the thread. And this thread is a light olive by Uni. What I'm going to do is just cover, cover up the lead. I'm going to flatten this out. Uh, Uni has a tendency to be a real corded thread, so I want to get it flat to help cover the lead up. So I want to put on a good layer of thread and get this uh, lead covered. Okay, we got our lead covered. Next, I'm going to take the body material, which is a product from Montana Fly. Uh, it's called Wonder Wrap uh, in a caddis green. We're going to get this started. I want to get it right on the side of the hook. I'm going to wind it down to the bend. Come back up to the tie in point, and then I'm going to tie in uh, my ribbing, which is a UTC extra small green, green wire. I'm going to bring that down to the back and come back up with the thread, tie it off, and dust off. Now I'm going to grab my wonder wrap, I'm going to stretch it. And I'm going to wrap it, but as I wrap this for, as I wrap it forward, I'm going to leave some spaces in between the wonder wrap, and you will start to see that here as I wrap it. And what that's going to be is a place to run the rib. So we're going to wrap this forward. Like I said, just leaving some small spaces in between. Wonder Wrap. And now I'm going to take the green UTC wire, tie that off just a little better, and in between those spaces I'm going to spiral wrap this forward. And as you can see, gives you a neatly segmented little body. Okay, I'm going to snip. I'm going to snip the wire off. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and whip finish. quick whip finish. And the reason for this is that we're going to switch switch colors of thread. So now I'm going to go and start my black. Start the black here. I'm going to come back yeah, about a third of the way. Clip that and I'm going to tie in my first wing case which is some black holographic tinsel. Then I'm going to take my second wing case and this this is this is some black floral fiber. This is more going to more to be there just to create the legs. Then I'm going to grab the dubbing which is a prism, a SLF prism in a black. It's got some real unique colorations to it. Really like this SLF prism dubbing. Doesn't doesn't take too much. So I'm gonna come in here. 
I'm going to dub a little thorax. I'm going to pull the pull the floral fiber forward. And I'm going to split half on each side. I'm going to split half on each side. Okay, you can kind of see that there. And then I'm going to pull that out of the way and put it in my material clip. And now I'm going to bring the holographic tinsel forward and, and tie it off. Okay, and I'm going to clip that. Now I got all that clipped off, I'm going to grab a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little too much. Just a little bit more of the dubbing. And then I'm going to take it and whip and take it and just right behind the up bead. Put a few more wraps of dubbing. And that helps cleans up everything. Go ahead and uh, grab the whip finish. Go ahead and whip finish. Go ahead and clip our thread. Now the legs, I'm going to go ahead and clip them. I'm going to run them to run just past the thorax. Just past the thorax on the legs. And there we go. Turn this and you look at it from the top. And you can see the little bit of a flash and the legs sticking out on each side. And underneath, you can kind of see that nicely segmented uh, body. I uh, hope you enjoy this.